Hey, what's up? I'm Alex Anderson, certified sommelier at Good Paradise, and today we're gonna talk about the magic behind how grapes turn into wine. I really mean science, because at the end of the day, wine is simply just fermented grape juice. So it all starts with the grapes, and to make wine, you need good, healthy grapes. So once the grapes have grown and they're at their optimal ripeness, then they can be harvested. Now, harvesting can be done either by machine to make it go faster or by hand. Once the grapes have been harvested, then they're taken back to the winery. Now this happens at opposite times of the year, depending on if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or the Southern Hemisphere, because it always happens in autumn, which for us wine lovers works out pretty well because it means that there's always new wines that are being grown, made, produced, and sent to the market for us to enjoy. 12 months of the year. So once the wine, sorry, once the grapes arrive at the winery, next it's time to crush and press. Now this whole point of cr crushing and pressing is to get grape juice out of those little berries. So crushing comes first. And what crushing does is it's just a nice light pressure put onto the grapes to just slightly open them up a bit and release some of that juice. Once that juice comes out, it can start to interact with the grape skins, which provide tannin, aroma compounds, as well as grants access to yeast, which we'll talk about later, part of the fermentation. So the next thing you're gonna do is press. So I like to think of it like a French press. So think of this here, we've got coffee grounds in the bottom and kind of floating around everywhere, kind of the same way that uh, grape juice would be after it was just crushed. So we wanna separate that by pressing. So we press it down and as we're pressing, all of these funny little floaties from the grape crushing start to be pressed at the bottom and now we've got a whole bunch of grape juice ready to ferment. So we've got our grape juice and we're ready to ferment. Now fermentation is actually quite a simple process. It's, sur it's just sh the conversion of sugar into alcohol through the action and aid of yeast. So when it comes to wine, that's the grape sugars. So it's grape sugars converted into alcohol through the action of yeast. Now yeast can be either commercial, commercially made or naturally occurring. That's because yeast is actually all over us. It's all in the vineyards, it's all in the winery, it's all over your house, yeast is everywhere. But the most important thing to know is that you cannot make wine without yeast. Yeast is essential in fermentation. And it certainly doesn't get enough credit, does it, for how much we love wine. Okay, next, you've got wine. This is great, fermented grape juice. Now, before we bottle, it's really good and often needs time to settle and age a bit. Now, aging can be done in oak, could be done in stainless steel, could be done in concrete egg, you name it. It could be done in any of these places. And different grape types require different amounts of aging. Some need much longer and some need much less. So some of the types that would need much less are usually fruity, floral, ex like really expressive fresh wines, often whites. Wines that would need more time aging are kind of these tannic, big, bold, robust wines that, geez, they just need a little time to settle down, calm down so that the rest of the world can hear them properly. So once they've gone through that aging time, then next is bottling. Once they're bottled, some of them even need more time to age, depending on the wine style and region it comes from. And then after that, sent right to market and into our glass. So that's it. That's how wine is made. Now, if you want to keep learning more about wine and a ton more tips that we have to share, subscribe to our channel. Or better yet, get to know your palate better and take our palate quiz in the link below so we can pair you to wines that suit your palate specifically. See you next time.